do do do. Welcome everyone. My name is Christina Nietzsche and this is Stan. He's a an awesome professional dog trainer. So we're going to be basically showing you guys some really good stuff with dog training, dealing with behavioral issues. We actually have some dogs that Stan does need to train. Um, we're going to be bringing Luna out as well. And I do want to give a big shout out to Blue Eddie because this show is actually sponsored by Blue Eddie, which actually has provided us with all of the power stations that I'm going to be showing you guys today. This one is the EV3A. This is the 600 watt power station. It gives you about a 1200 watt boost. And this also has a wireless charging pad on the top for your cell phones, but it's also got a lot of really cool features in the front. So you can power things like your 120 volts. Um, you can actually do uh, your cigarette lighter adapters, also your USB A's and your USB C. So we're going to be featuring more of those. Um, this one's actually on a deal; it's 14% off. So without further ado, let's go ahead and um, let you let me know what you let everybody know where they can find you on social media, but also like what we're going to be doing today. Cool. Um, Instagram, TikTok, it's I am Stan nine zero. If you're going to check out our YouTube channel, that's decoy J kit. That's decoy J K E I T T. That's where we're going to post a lot of the information that we do with our training dogs. We got shorts, we got long form videos. You're going to see us going on adventures with our dogs. We do a lot of stuff in Carrollton, Dallas and all over. So if you want to check us out, that's where you go. And today we are going to be working with a Malinois. You've heard of and seen Malinois, right? You know what? I actually have not. You've never seen a mouth? No. Okay. Well, this is, he's actually a very good looking dog. Um, Malin walls were designed to do work. So okay. they have to have a job. They need to do stuff and you got to get them out very early in the world because if not, they're going to go more to the defensive side of things versus being super confident. Gotcha. So he's about six months old. He didn't really see very much when he was young. So a guy sent him out to us from Florida and we are going to take him for the next six weeks and teach him to be a good pet and a good working dog in the end got it so he needs a lot of confidence so okay. we're going to go on a walk and there's a lot of things that are going to intimidate him i'm pretty sure he's going to bark at all of these okay. uh, trash bags and trash cans there so we're just going to show you some things that i'm going to do to build his confidence and build the relationship between him and i we're going to be using the flexi leash and we're going to start without a herm springer co uh, prong collar and if we need to apply it we are okay so Getting him out of the car is a chore in itself. He okay. wants to bust out of the kennel. He just everything they do is 100 miles an hour, which is good, but we need right. to direct him into the path that we want him to go so he doesn't depart when he gets older. Gotcha. All right. So I'm going to give, I'm just going to say hello to everybody in the chat. Looks like we got some people joining here. Evans is here. Hi, Evans. I'm always happy to see you. Um, Luis is here. Hi, Luis. Thank you so much for the follow. Donald, and welcome. Margaret. Hi, Margaret. How are you? Um, so yes, yeah, so we're going to be doing, we're really going to be working a lot with, you know, behavioral issues, even walking. I'm going to bring out Luna. You have boots as well. So we're going to do that a little bit later. Um, so these are all going to be things that you guys, this is like real live. So these are going to be things that a lot of people have issues with. Um, and so just pay close attention. He's going to be basically starting from the ground up with this dog. And so this dog has, I think, and also I want to mention too, um, I did not realize that people can have dogs shipped to you for training. Yeah. Like that's legit amazing. So guys, he's here in Texas, but if you have a dog mm -hmm. that you really need some training to, he does actually have ways that he can train them if you guys ship them the dog. So yeah. that's pretty awesome. Hey, if you get us a dog, we can do the work. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. What do you want to do first? Tell me what I need to do to help out. Um, well, I'm pretty sure when he finally does get out of the crate and calm, he's going to want to jump on you. So we're going to correct that. Gotcha. And then we would just proceed to go for a walk. Okay. So when he jumps up on you, I'm going to tell him no, and then I'm going to have him sit. Okay. And at that point, you can pet him under the chin. Gotcha. So under the chin is like giving a dog a handshake. Every yes. dog doesn't need to get a hug in the very beginning. Yeah. So right under the chin, calm him down a little bit. Okay. He should start leaning into you. And that's more of the behavior we want him to do versus jumping up. He has a lot, a lot, a lot of energy. Okay. And again, we're just trying to tone him down and 
be calm. Okay. Um, and so for those that are wondering, we do have some gear that we're going to be using to make this magic happen. So uh, we're actually going to be using a drone and I'll highlight the drone that we're using. It's actually the DJI Mavic Cine. Um, this is actually a very professional, we're, we're going to show you guys what it looks like in the, you know, towards the end after we're done using it. Um, but it actually has 5k capabilities, which is really awesome for those 5k videos. So it's going to give you a nice clear picture. It's going to be able to follow us, which is really awesome. It's got a lot of, a lot of those really cool features for all you tech guys out there and gals, of course, too. Um, and it also goes about nine miles out, which is wonderful. It has an auto feature where it can come back home to you. A lot of really cool things. Um, controlling it with the smart remote controller, which is how we're going to be able to show you guys live footage here on the show. So I'm really excited about that. Um, Felipe, thanks for the follow. And Live is here, another live streamer. Hello, hello. Um, Margaret says it's 35 degrees. Oh my gosh, where you are? That sounds insane. Yeah, it was what, 12 <laughs> degrees? What, two weeks ago? Two, yeah, two weeks ago. It's going to be Good 70 Texas. today. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's the perks of living in Texas. You get all yes. the seasons every month. Yes. All right. So I'm ready. I've got my treat bag here. You have this in your carousel. You want to give this highlight to show them what it is? Let's do that. Um, so guys, also make sure Stan is actually streaming on his channel. So make sure that you're following him. He's going to be, he provides a lot of really valuable information. So he's on his channel as well and give him a follow, show some love, say hello to him in the chat. Um, but he has the bait. This is actually the dog on good. I guess it's the rapid reward treat yep. bag. So I'm going to show you guys this up close real quick. So you guys can see, this is what we're going to be using. Um, this is a bag that you can get. It's got a, basically this is a close with magnets. So it's got easy access. It pops open very easily, which is what you want. There's two little, um, kind of like rings right here where you can actually attach a strap if that's something that you prefer, but it has like a Velcro pocket right here. It's got a nice pocket, another Velcro pocket in here. Um, a lot of different space. It's got, I think it's got a little side, little teeny pockets right here to put other things. Best of all, it's got this little clip right here. So you don't actually have to put it through your belt, but you can. Um, so if any of the ladies out there are like me wearing leggings, you don't have pockets or I, you don't have a belt, this is great. There's also a little side pocket here where I like to actually put some dog poop bags because we want to be responsible pet owners, right? Yep, All right. Yep. So Ryan, hey, how are you? Ryan says, hey, Christina. Hey, Stan. What up? What up? All right. All right. So you ready for this part? We're ready. So it is going to be a little noisy. Those that are a little bit sensitive to sound, we are going to have some dogs barking because this is a live training. So make sure that you guys are ready for this. Cool. All right. Um, do you want to turn the camera? Um, we can turn the camera. Yeah, I can turn the camera for you. All right. Let me do that. I'm going to turn the camera so you guys can see. This is basically, you know, what he's going to show you basically what happens. This is, uh, there we go. Yes. So as you can see, he's already trying to scratch and get out of the kennel. So what we're wanting to do is reward him when he's not acting that way. So if he does choose to scratch, we're going to tell him, nope. When he finally calms down, we're going to approach to open it. As soon as he starts again, we're going to wait. This is where patience comes in. You can't rush these kind of things because if you get flustered, if you get hectic and chaotic, it's just going to go right down to the dog. So you want to make sure that you keep your energy and your tone very calm in this sense. Yes. No. And this can take a little while too, guys. This is not something that you want to rush. It's a process of learning. So it's very important that you take the time. You have to be very patient. Stan's actually extremely patient. Good boy. Oh, he's beautiful. Come on, pup free. So he's very excited. You guys can see that. Yeah, no, boy. Oh, he's beautiful. No. So there you go. So he's, he's barking. never met me before, guys. <laughs> hey, you're okay. So, right. oops, he dropped your treats. So a lot of people think, oh, my dog's barking at everybody. That's a yeah. good thing. He's naturally defensive. Yeah. He's going to be a protection dog. That's actually the complete opposite because okay. there's no reason for him to be barking at you. You did not give no threat or anything. He yeah. just saw you and started barking. So we've had him for about a week now. So he's starting to realize that he doesn't have to have that natural defense mechanism because he's not being put in these stressful situations. Sure. So again, he's going to, ah, ah. I told you he's going to try to jump on you. Nope, That's how he gets greeted. It. That's it. Good job, boy. Hey, Tracy, how are you? 
good. So I like using the flexi lead okay. for different situations because, again, I can get away from him. He can still be next to you. He's taking the trash out over there, and these are all really good things. Yeah. And I'm going to reward him when he's yeah. not acting out because we want to teach him that this is proper behavior and the barking and the being insecure is not. Yes, yes. So I, Yes, sir. Good boy. You're doing so good. You're doing better than I, I thought. I was going to say, I was like, I'm really <laughs> impressed already. <laughs> good boy. So again, we've developed a relationship over the last week to show him, hey, I'm not going to put you in situations where you have to be aggressive or defensive or anything like that. Right. And we've also played a lot of ball and tug and stuff okay. like that. Again, building that bond in the relationship because I want him to know he can trust me. He's not having to be insecure about anything and this is so with with dogs when you're working with like fear and stuff like that um i know you said that you don't want to associate yourself with any negativity like you don't you don't want him you want him to fully trust you and build that bond mm -hmm. um yes so you don't necessarily want to correct him when he's doing those things you want to show him proper behavior gotcha so we spent a lot of time with no distractions and we've worked on this patient sit here he would be jumping up trying to get on you and all of these different things yes. so we had to develop this is right behavior so okay. then we take him in various situations and we're going to do the same thing that he's gotten success with so this is going to be more of a default behavior versus oh i gotta be hectic i gotta be spontaneous and crazy sure. so same thing with the downs and again, we're just building his confidence. See, <laughs> <laughs> there's then, so many distractions. This is great. A per training outside is is so much better than like the inside because oh, there's so many down. different distractions. Margaret go. says, "Such a good dog." Good boy. Free. There you go. And giving your dog a beginning and an end point, it teaches them, okay, I got to wait for these release commands. I got to wait for certain things. And it teaches him how to be successful. Gotcha. We don't want our dogs to be robots. We want them to know how to figure out what they're supposed to do in various situations. Mm -hmm. So we want to take a little walk. Yeah. All right. So we're going to, what we're going to do guys now, uh, we're going to be the, the Mr. Ma is going to be getting the drone and we are going to be having the drone follow us. So you guys can see the footage live and walk with us. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Which one? You can take mine. Okay. So we're going to grab one of the mics. This way you guys still have audio um, and I'll be watching you guys in the chat right here. So if you guys have questions, Questions, please put them in there. You gotta call me. Yep, yep. All right. So, hey, Jennifer, how are you? So, yeah, we're setting up. We're using, let me highlight the drone because we're going to be using the drone, the Mavic 3 Cine. Um, and I'll show you that combo. I'll actually, show, we're going to be using it right now. So, I'll show that to you um, once we're actually finished using it. And let's see here. I'm actually going to make a quick phone call so you guys can get some audio here. And okay. All right. So you guys should be getting some audio on this. He's going to set up. The DJI. All right. All right. We're just waiting for Mr. Ma to get ready, ready here. Um, um, the, drone the drone is actually, is actually a, 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 package, a package and, and it, comes it comes with everything, with everything that, you that you need. need. The only the thing only I will thing say, I that, will we say that we upgraded was, was the propellers. All right, propellers. All right so, so we're going to take it off here. Off here. Oh, he said, Margaret says, Margaret echoing. says echoing. We won't, we won't echo, echo once, once we take, we take off. off. 